Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, neurologist from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the book Focus Neurology and Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology. My email is 3klpm at gmail.com. Today we are going to talk about a very interesting disease, the Parkinson's disease and its clinical features. Parkinson's disease, clinical features, movement disorders, part 2. The hypokinetic movement disorder, we are talking about Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is due to degeneration of neurons in the dopaminergic nigrostriatal pathway. It is the second most common movement disorder behind essential tremor affecting about 1% of the population over the age 50. The cardinal manifestations can be remembered with the acronym TRAP, T-R-A-P. T is for tremor. It is asymmetric to begin with. R is for rigidity, the cogwheel rigidity known as the Negro sign. A is for akinesia, usually bradykinesia. P is for postural instability. Asymmetric resting tremor is the most common presentation of Parkinson's disease occurring in about 75% of patients. The other clinical features are there is a loss of associated and automatic movements. Example, arm swing when walking with the masking of the face, infrequent smiling and blinking and loss of swinging of the arms in walking. There is a very interesting phenomenon known as Kinesia Paradoxica. Under acute emotional stress, example patient escapes from a fire. The otherwise immobile patient may use extremities rapidly and effectively. Festinating gait. Impaired postural reflexes leads to a tendency to fall forwards propulsion which the patient tries to avoid by walking with increased speed but with very short steps known as the festinating gait. Still wax sign, a decreased rate of blinking, usually the normal is 12 to 20 but in persons with Parkinson's disease there may be 5 to 10 per minute rather than the normal 12 to 20 accompanied by slight eyelid retraction may be present. There will be drooling of saliva. The drooling of saliva is because of the decreased swallowing. So decreased swallowing is largely responsible for the drooling of saliva. Freezing phenomenon. Patient may suddenly freeze in a place, unable to move for a short time because of simultaneous activation of agonists and antagonists. Ocular movement abnormalities. Associated movements of midbrain structures may cause changes in the ocular movements because of the lesion in the saccadic pathway which also goes to the which also goes to the basal ganglia and the midbrain. Striatal toe sustained tonic extension of great toe with flexion of other toes may occur even without plantar stimulation as a part of foot dystonia in extrapyramidal disorders. Meyerson sign glabular tap reflex in Parkinson's disease, patient may be unable to inhibit the blinking of the eyes on tapping over the glabella, unlike normals who do not continue to blink with repetitive tapping. The non-motor manifestations of Parkinson's disease. The non-motor manifestations may occur many years even before the onset of motor systems, even before the motor systems develop. Example, anosmia, loss of smell. REM sleep behavior disorder that is the rapid eye movement sleep behavior disorder and constipation. So summarizing all the clinical features of Parkinson's disease, we can categorize it into three compartments, the cardinal motor features, other motor features and the non-motor features. The cardinal motor features are bradykinesia, rest tremor, rigidity, postural instability, which can be remembered by the acronym TRAP, T-R-A-P, Tremor, Rigidity, Akinesia, Postural Instability. The other motor features are Micrographia, the handwriting they become small, Masked faces, Hypomimia 
or the expressionless face, reduced eye blinking, drooling of saliva by cause of decreased swallowing, soft voice hypophonia, dysphagia and freezing because of the simultaneous contraction of agonist and antagonist. The other non-motor manifestations are anosmia, loss of smell, sensory disturbances example pain, mood disorders example depression, sleep disturbances example rapid eye movement sleep behavior disorder, autonomic disturbances like orthostatic hypotension, gastrointestinal disturbances, genitourinal disturbances, sexual dysfunction and other cognitive disturbances and dementia. So these are all the clinical features of Parkinson's disease. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this lecture. The other important points in clinical neurology especially useful for exam exam only clinical neurology like history taking general examination pertaining to neurology neurologic examination hemiplegia and paraplegia i put it in points in a book focused in a book exam oriented clinical neurology written by me dr s Srinivas. if interested this book could be purchased the other important concepts of neurology i have put it in a question and answer format in a book focused neurology written by me dr s Srinivas. This will be very useful for students appearing for oral exams. This book is available online from all leading booksellers including Amazon. So if interested, this book could be purchased online. I hope you have enjoyed listening to these wonderful, fascinating concepts of clinical features of Parkinson's disease. If you have enjoyed it, please like, share the link, but please subscribe my YouTube channel, Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my webpage, Dr. Srinivas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.